Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a impressive display of fluorescence. So to get started, one of the ingredients you're going to want to get is some tonic water. Tonic water glows a, uh, a real beautiful blue. So what I recommend you do is get some little bottles. These happen to just be mini bottles, but uh, you could probably use uh, baby food jars or something like that. So I'm going to pour some tonic water in here. And let's take a look and see how it fluoresces. You can see that uh, beautiful blue color. And this is because of the quinine in tonic water. And you can get tonic water at any grocery store, in the, usually in the drink section. So there's some tonic water. And the next thing we're going to want to use for our fluorescence demonstration is some highlighter. Now you got to be careful here. I'm going to take, I'm going to put some water in a jar, and all you really need is just a touch of highlighter. It doesn't take a lot to do this, so you can just take a highlighter like this and just dip it in briefly into the water, and that's about all you really need. And if you look, you can see a little bit of the yellow on the top, and we're going to shake it up. And the reason you don't want to put too much in here is you don't want to give it a yellowish tint because that kind of takes away from the effect. So after putting just a tiny bit of highlighter in there, we get a nice pretty green color. So with the two of these, we've got green and a beautiful blue. Now the last ingredient you're going to want to use to get red is some chlorophyll. And the best way to do chlorophyll is to get some grass and soak it in alcohol and that'll extract the chlorophyll. And what you're going to have to do is leave this for a while. You're going to want to just put some grass in a container, let it set for a couple hours. You can already see though that when you put the UV laser on the grass, even the grass itself will, will emit a red color and once you leave it in long enough, this will be a really intense red. Right now it's starting to show a little bit better under the camera than it does in real life. So I'm going to let that sit for a while. And I'm just using uh, isopropyl alcohol here. That's all you need. You can get some uh, um, pure isopropyl or you know, at the hardware store, or you can get uh, just isopropyl alcohol that you use at home, that you use in the, have, usually have in the medicine cabinet, and use that too. Okay, now that I've let the uh, grass soak in alcohol for a while, you can see that it's a, the chlorophyll is leached out of the grass and is now in the alcohol. So now we're going to transfer this into a bottle. You probably make a little mess. Okay, this is probably even a little bit too much chlorophyll because you can see that the water's got a little bit of a greenish tint to it, um, which I guess isn't that bad because if you consider it's got a green tint, but it glows red, that's kind of odd. And that's a property of chlorophyll is that it fluoresces a nice red color. Okay, so here's the three bottles after getting them prepped. So you get these three beautiful colors from just UV light. So the UV light's passing all the way through. You can see, see it hitting my hand there on the end. So it's passing through these three bottles, converting UV light 
into red, green, and blue. And there's still enough energy left once it gets through to cause even some more fluorescence. I'm going to turn the lights off so we can see this effect even better. Okay, so as you can see with the lights off, the effect is much more dramatic. So when you do this, you're going to want to really ultimately turn the lights off to make it work. One of the things that's going to happen over time is the bottle with the chlorophyll in it will um, lose its ability to glow red because the chlorophyll will ultimately break down. So you'll have to replace that periodically. Okay, so there you go. Great way to show the properties of fluorescence using a UV laser and with very inexpensive materials that can be found around the house. One of the things you're going to need to do this effect is a laser, a UV laser. Um, UV stands for ultraviolet. And you can get uh, a laser like this. In fact, you can get three lasers um, on eBay for less than $10. And you get a, a green, red, and UV. for less than 10 bucks. So it's a pretty good deal for letting uh, students uh, do experiments with lasers. Okay, and then UV is strange though because it doesn't look like much without something to illuminate, something, some material that's excited by UV energy. So one thing that is, is as I mentioned, was a highlighter. So here's the plastic on a highlighter. You can see that really fluoresces brilliantly. Um, the tip of the highlighter does the same thing. So basically UV has this ability to excite certain molecules to emit very intense light at uh, different colors. And this uh, the whole display we're putting together here shows that really nicely. One other interesting thing about these uh, solutions and the way they fluoresce is that if I take, for instance, a uh, green light and pass it through, you'll notice that other than the reflections that I get, you don't really see the light as it passes through. The middle bottle shows a little bit of green, but it's really just due to the green tint of the solution I put in there. If we take red, we get some absorption and re-emission in red in the middle bottle. So green is not absorbed at all and this goes back to this whole um, thing I mentioned earlier that chlorophyll doesn't really absorb green light and neither do the other two solutions. Neither does tonic water and neither does a, um, a green fluorescent marker. The chlorophyll does emit red and of course they all emit different colors if we use UV. Hope you enjoyed this and goodbye.